Gotta be careful, young man. This is a busy street. It's not safe to play here, okay? All right. Okay, have fun. But why would you make my favorite pot roast when you know I'm gonna be working late tonight? Why not? I was craving it. I think you like torturing me. You call it torture, I call it the art of persuasion. Persuasion, huh? So how late are you coming in tonight? I can try and keep it warm. I don't know. Whenever I think I'm done, they plop something new on my desk. You know, I heard an officer got killed in cold blood today. Oh yeah? Where'd you hear that? You know where I heard it, it's all over the internet. Well, luckily, I don't work in the field. It's still a dangerous job, Matthew. Yeah, and so is working in a factory. No one's asking you to work in a factory. Well, what is someone asking me? I don't want to fight about this again. You told me that is what you want to do, and I will support your decision. It's just, it's just, I'm just worried about you every day you leave the house. You don't need to worry about me. Yeah, but I do, okay? I do. You know, Sean came by today and he told me he would gladly put in a good word for you at the forensics department. Oh my god, here we go again. Sam, I don't need your brother's help finding employment options. I know you don't, and no one's asking you to apply. I'm not. Whatever you want to do with your career, I'm happy with it, and I will support you. It's just an option if you ever want to take it. Okay. Thanks, babe. Oh, I have to go. Can I, uh, message you in a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. I love you. I love you too. Sorry about that, Cap. What do we got? What we got is a dead officer. Shit. Who was it? It's Ramsey. Ramsey? Oh my god. What the fuck? It always happens to the good guys. What happened? He's on the south side, patrolling. Went to get a coffee. He was getting his cruiser bullet through the neck, DOA. We got the confessed killer in the room right now. You want me to handle it? Yeah, but there's a lot more I gotta tell you about this, Davis. Person who shot Officer Ramsey, 15-year-old girl. You're shitting me. Why? We don't know why. But you said she confessed earlier. She did. She called us. You believe that? She called the cops on herself. We got to the scene, 15-year-old sitting there with a gun on the curb, saying she doesn't want a lawyer. She wants to give a public confession. Wait, but, Captain, what the fuck are you saying? So. 15-year-old girl just kills Ramsey in cold blood, calls the cops on herself, and she's in the room willing to confess. Yeah, but you know because of her age, we can't really talk or listen without a lawyer or parents present. Well, where the fuck is the lawyer? The lawyer's on the way. Parents? My mom's been notified. All right, then. Davis, I need you to go in there and do something for me. I need you to go in there and talk to this girl off the record. I need you to find out what happened before this lawyer comes in and tells her not to say what she wants to say. I need you to go in there and find out what happened, why this happened to Ramsey. Ramsey was a good cop, Davis. Ramsey was a family man. Like, we're all shook up, right? I just need you to go in there and I need you to find out some answers for me, Davis. Hey, say no more, Cap. I'll do it for the team. I'll do it for his family. I'll figure out the reason why. I know you will, Davis. Off the record. I'm Detective Matthew Davis. Your name is pronounced Keisha? It's Keisha. Keisha Thomas, before we begin, I just want to let you know, everything we say here is off the record. Nothing we say can be used in court as evidence, not even a confession. Since you're a minor, we're required by law to wait until your lawyer or your parents arrive. I have a feeling you don't want that, though. Why do you say that? 
because one person doesn't just kill another person, calls the cops on themselves, gets arrested, and is willing to confess without having a reason. I'm here to figure out what that reason is. Even though you can't use it in court? Are you gonna tell your lawyer something different? No. Okay, so fulfill my curiosity. Why don't I just wait? What's the point of saying all this shit twice? Based on your perfect criminal record, you've never seen the inside of an interrogation room before. So let me tell you how this goes. Your lawyer is going to arrive and they will do all the talking. They will not let you say one word. You will not get your precious confession out. And if you want anyone to know your motive, the only way to get your story out is with me. So tell me, why did you murder Officer Derek Ramsey, a husband and a father of two boys? Officer Fred Bowman. What about Officer Bowman? On October 23rd, 2021, at 7.35 p.m. on Preston Street, Officer Bowman and his partner, Officer Wilson, stopped a boy on the way home from the gym under suspicion he had taken part in an armed robbery two blocks away. The boy told the officers he had nothing to do with it, and they asked to search his gym bag. The boy refused to let the officers touch his possessions, but they forcefully insisted, causing a tussle. Officer Bowman forced the boy against the fence in an attempt to handcuff him. As he reached for his handcuffs and instructed Officer Wilson to grab the bag, the boy rustled free from the fence, running away from the two officers. Officer Bowman reached for his pistol, fired twice, both bullets hitting the boy in the back, one of the bullets penetrating his heart. The boy's name was Keegan Thomas. He was 17 years old, and they found no evidence of any crime in his gym bag. He was my brother. My very best friend. So if it sounds like that entire thing was memorized, it's because it was. I have read that witness statement a million times. So you tell me, Detective Davis, why did you guys choose the end of life of my brother Keegan? So let me get this straight. You killed Officer Ramsey in cold blood for something that Officer Bowman did. That's right. That doesn't make any sense. It most certainly does. Okay, well, please explain this to me because I'm trying to piece together your insane train of thought. Let's say Officer Bowman did something wrong. He did do something wrong. I was not there, and allegedly, neither were you. It doesn't fucking matter if I was there or not. A white cop shot and killed an unarmed black boy. There is no let's say he did the wrong thing. He murdered my fucking brother. Officer Bowman killed your brother. Usually when someone is avenging a death, they go after the person who caused the death. In this case, that's Officer Bowman. But no, you killed Ramsey, a beloved brother here at the station, a family man. Because of you, two boys are now gonna grow up without a father. Meanwhile, the person who caused you harm, Bowman, is walking away scot-free. How does that make sense? Please. Cops killing innocent black people isn't news. You guys keep doing this shit over and over and yeah, sure. I could have gone after Bowman. If I ended his life, whatever. He's probably a dick. No one in the world would have missed him anyway. But I had a year to think about a way to make you fucking cops feel my pain. A way to make people say shit like, oh, he didn't deserve this and it's not fair. And the only thing I could think of was this, an innocent life for an innocent life. No, you're, you're sick. Am I? You're telling me you don't feel for his wife and kids? I don't know how close you two were, but judging as how you described him as a beloved brother at the station, you're telling me you don't feel sad? You and I both know that there's at least one cop out there reconsidering their job right now, knowing that this could easily happen to them. Yeah, see? Now you get it. Now you're finally starting to understand some of the same shit me and my family had to go through. But Ramsey's wife, and kids, and mother, and anyone who ever cared for him, what they're going through is what I had to go through. What I'm going through. I didn't take anyone from you. We didn't take anything from you. You took an innocent person's life and show no remorse for it. Because of you, a family has to suffer because of the mistake one bad officer made. <laughs> 
Say that again, out loud. An entire family has to suffer because of a mistake that one bad officer made. You think I give a shit about the Ramsey family? Over my own. Are you mad? You're sick and you're going away for a long time. You think I give a shit about jail? You think I give a fuck about Juvie? You took my best friend away from me. It's either die in there or die out here by your gunshots. This is what it's like to be us. There are other ways. You didn't have to take his life. Okay, like what? I don't know. You're, you're a smart girl. You didn't have to take his life. Thought I was sick in the head. You are. But the way you articulate, the way you speak, you clearly are intelligent. Now instead, you threw away your whole future for this vengeance. All you had to do was use your brain and just think of any healthier solution. Any. So what do you want me to do, huh? Start a petition? Get 30,000 signatures requesting Officer Bowman get charged with murder? Maybe I should hop on Twitter. Tweet is enough is enough. How many lives are we gonna lose? Maybe I should contact my local senator. Print t-shirts? Oh, oh wait, my favorite. How about me and my family protest in the streets? Make a few Black Lives Matter signs? There were other ways. You and I both know that black people have done everything and you fuckers still continue to kill us. We have done it all and still no change. So the only option left is start clapping you guys one by one until you all realize. That is not a solution. Okay. Ever. So you tell me what other way I missed. Better yet, tell the guy behind that window what option I left out. They're probably your boss and BFFs with Bowman. Okay, yeah. I think we're done here. Do you have any kids? That's none of your business. Okay, fine. But you need to start thinking about who you sold your soul to. They got you in this room making excuses for a child murderer on your team. Ramsey was probably a good guy, didn't deserve to die. But neither did my brother. You're probably a good human, too. Probably have a wife and kids, too. But no matter what good you do or intend to do, you're always going to have at least an entire race of people who will never trust you and view you as murderers in our community. And if you're okay with that, then maybe you're not one of the good guys. Davis? Council is checking in at the front. Don't let the press twist the headlines. <laughs>